Once you've logged into the Pika Voice console, click on the Speech to Intent button. This will take you to the Speech to Intent section of the console. Type the name Drive Through into the box. Leave the template empty since we'll be starting from scratch and click Create Context. Once it's ready, you can click on the context name in the menu below. This will take us to the context editor. To get started, let's create our first intent and call it Order. Type that into the New Intent box. Then click on the plus button or press Enter. Click the newly created intent name, and this will show us the list of expressions. Expressions allow us to detect patterns in speech and map them to intents. Let's get started by typing a very simple intent, I'd like to order, by typing it into the box. Then click the plus button or press enter. Now this expression, I'd like to order, will be mapped to the order intent. Now that our context has intents and expressions, the microphone button on the right column of the console is ready for us to use. Click on the button and this will allow us to try our context in browser. It will trigger a save and a rebuild of the context and then when ready, say the expression. I'd like to order. The fact that someone arrived at a drive through pretty much implies that they want to order. Let's make this a little bit more interesting by capturing their specific order using slots. We're going to use a built-in slot by pressing the dollar sign and then accessing pv.singledigitinteger. This is then assigned to a variable. We'll call this order number. Click the check box or press enter to update the expression. Now we can order by order number. Let's try this out using the microphone feature. Click the microphone button, save, rebuild, wait for the prompt, and then say the expression. I'd like to order six. As you can see, the intent order is determined as before, and now we additionally have the order number six returned with the slot collection. You can see the key of the slot corresponds to the variable that we used in the expression. This lets customers order by number. Ordering by number is easy to implement, but typically customers will want to order by seeing the menu items directly. We can accomplish this by creating a custom slot for our menu. On the left column of the console, click on the new slot box and type in the name menu. Click the plus button or press enter to create the slot. Then click on the newly created slot. Now we can see a list of elements, which is empty. Let's fill out the menu with some typical fast food items like hamburger, cheeseburger, fries, milkshake, and soda. Now that we have a menu slot, let's click on the order intent and use this slot in a new expression so that we can order directly. Keeping the existing expression the same, type in a second one in the box below. Say I'd like to order, but instead of using the built-in slot, this time when you press the dollar sign, use the menu slot. Assign it to a variable called menu item. Click the plus button or press enter to save. Now that our context understands ordering from our menu, let's try out our new expression. Click the microphone button to trigger a save and rebuild, and then when prompted, use the menu. I'd like to order fries. As before, we can see the intent order was determined, and this time, instead of the built-in slot, we have our custom menu item returned with the name that we set in the expression. When you're happy with your context, it's time to train it. Use the Train button to send it to the Pico Voice Console backend to create a model with platform and architecture specific optimizations. By default, Linux, Mac, and Windows are available to train. Make sure you understand the terms of use for the model 
and click Train. This will typically complete in one to three hours. Click on the Models menu on the left column of the console. From here we can see that our model has been submitted and is in the processing state. We can return here in a couple of hours and retrieve our completed model. Click the Refresh button we can see that now our model is ready for download. Click on the download button. Make sure you understand the terms of use and click download. The resulting file with the RHN extension can be used with the PicoVoice Rhino SDK available on GitHub.